On this vlog, we're going to be showing you how to take this rock and turn it into a smile. But first, we're going to head on over to some very special people and they're going to tell you about the power of a smile. Yeah, did they say we're special? Yeah, we, I, it makes I, me feel good. They're just, they're, they're good people. <laughs> Yeah, so today we will be going over some fun facts about smiling. We're also going to be um, talking about what God says about smiling. And then we have a fun round of Don't Crack. So stay locked. Okay, hey guys, we got some um, fun facts for you. So um, I guess let's just get into it. Let's do it. Okay. Smiling is the universal sign of happiness. Yes, it is. I think it, it's, it's awesome because it goes across, it's international, it goes across every culture, every country, every continent. Everybody knows smiling. Yes. You know, it's a sign of being happy. It's a universal language. Yeah, there you go. Universal language. That's a better way to put it. Um, smiling helps you live longer. Did you know that? Oh, uh, yes. And smiling also is like medicine. And a very famous person said that. I <laughs> like that. So It releases like these happy endorphins, happy chemicals. And I mean, you couldn't feel better than when you smile. Yeah. Whether you force it or not, you know, it's like you can have those four smiles and then and all of a sudden you start giving into it like, okay. I can find some joy in whatever I'm going through, you know, that kind of thing. You're alive. Smile, okay? <laughs> Are you breathing? Smile, okay? Um, smiling <laughs> also boosts your immune system, your white blood cells, and that is, an, uh, I think, everybody needs. I mean, That's I feel like with all the fear and all the bad news happening in the world, I mean, if I think that crushes our immune systems. Mm. But smiling brings up your immune system. Yes. And um, it also releases antibodies to fight infections. So if you have something going on in your body, learn to laugh, learn to find joy, learn to find things you are thankful for. If part of your life is just not working, well, find things in, in your life mm -hmm. that are working and get joy out of it. Enjoy mm -hmm. living out of an abundance of a thankful heart. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that can be hard, but it is doable. Mm -hmm. um, smiling also makes people more welcoming and approachable. I mean, you think about customer service Yes. and being a server. I was yeah. a server for five years through high school and college. And I would say uh, the more you smiled, the more happy and joyful you were, mm -hmm. the better tips you got. You mm -hmm. were more approachable. Right. right. And I did restaurant stuff too but I was more in the back and I just had to smile because, hey, I'm happy. I'm happy doing dishes and I'm happy. <laughs> and I'm happy. Scrubbing that grease well, off. Exactly. Like you just have to have joy no matter what you're doing. If you're picking, you know, pulling weeds or if you're just, you know, or if you got it all made in the shade, still smile, still have joy because it really is the thing that says, you know, hey, I have joy. That's true. You know, fun fact, John and I met at a restaurant. We did. <laughs> we did. We'll tell you more about that later. But also smiling, you know, John's talking about just basic yeah. things that you think, oh man, I'm scrubbing the grease off the dishes at work or whatever. I find singing will bring joy to your heart and it brings a smile to your face. I mean, do you ever just hum or sing mm -hmm. or whatever? It shows that happiness in your heart is still there. It was implanted by God and it really is there. Sometimes we just have to stir ourselves up and find that inner joy. Um, but this is a fun one. Okay, smiling makes you look more attractive. Yes. And that is a true thing. Well, it is because that's my goal in life is to be more attractive. And so, <laughs> you know, I don't feel like I have it naturally. So by smiling, that enhances the attractive factor. Listen, you okay? can either and work so, your muscles or you can work your smile. I'm trying. Which also is, you have to use both, okay? Use, Chiseled. Doesn't okay? that use muscles too? Yeah, it does. But it's less muscles, so less wrinkles. So see, if you frown, it's like a lot of muscles, okay? But if it's smiling, it's good. It's it's less resistance, more lightweight, you know, like you're on a cloud. So just smile because it's the right thing to do. Right, so I think those are some fun facts about the yes. power of a smile, but what do you think God says about smiling? I think he says to smile no matter what. You have to have joy no matter what. I mean, think of the best example, our best example, uh, 
you know, did everything for us, smiling, having joy, even he didn't feel like it, even if he didn't want to do it, but he did it for us because uh, that's a relationship. And that's what's good. That's the good news mm -hmm. that no matter what's going on and what you face, uh, Jesus did everything for you. And so you have an example of someone who's beat this, who's faced it, done it and beat it. And so no matter what you'd ever go through, you can't say, well, I'm the only one or this is this me or whatever. I know you, sometimes it feels like that. It's not really like that. You know, everybody has issues, but there's a person who says, hey, I've been there. I've done that. And I want to give you the victory. He says, be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. And that same power is on the inside of you when you have a relationship with Jesus. That's right. One of my favorite scriptures is the joy of the yes. Lord is our strength. I love it. And if you've ever, if your body's ever been attacked with anything or you've been mm. going through a hard family time or a traumatizing right. thing where depression and oppression try to settle in, really it, we pull from that inner joy. It's not like an outward joy that we pull from temporary things, but it's an inner joy that gives us the strength to keep holding on and to keep moving forward. So we hope those fun facts help you guys. We are going to go in to a round of Don't Crack. Okay, we have today's contestants, two contestants here, John and Isabel. I wanna win. Otherwise known as Super Bell. No, I'm gonna win. We'll see about that. I've been practicing. I know you're tickling spot. It's really, really easy, okay? It's called Don't Crack. And what you do is you tell the other person a joke and as long as they don't smile or crack a smile, then you win. So we're gonna, you know, start off. Uh, does the second place want to go first? Oh, no, oh! The second <laughs> place can go first. Okay, well that's you then. No, that's you. Okay, well we'll say the winner goes first. That's fair. <laughs> okay, me. What did the toilet say to the other toilet? I'm flushed. You look like you're a bit flushed. Okay, no crack, mm. no crack. Okay, John, go ahead. We're practicing. Okay, what did one eye say to the other eye? I don't know. I really don't know. No, it's not that at all, actually. It's between you, between you and me, I got something to say. Oh. Between you and me, something smells. Okay. It's a little bit, there it is, there it is, <laughs> yes! <laughs> One point for daddy. <laughs> it's all in the approach. How did you talk to the giant? Big talk? You use big words. Mm. No, it's, the time's <laughs> over. I have right. you know, She's trying to lead into me. There's a time limit. It's like. You're laughing! Okay. Why do bicycles fall over? I don't know. Because they're too tired. She's laughing. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Two points. What was Adam's favorite? Holiday. Probably Christmas Eve. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, but that was funny. Okay, so that's one point for Isabel. <laughs> I read that one ahead of time, actually. And I thought I was like, that's a really good joke. Okay, so anyway, that was that was a good one. You can use that one. I don't, as far as I know, these aren't like copyrighted or anything. But so anyway, okay, they are just jokes, by the way. Okay, anybody can come up with them. So yeah, all right, next one. Here we go. This is a this is a knock knock. Oh yeah, okay, knock knock. <laughs> you say. Isabel says. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch you. Hatch you. God bless you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! She made it. She no, made it. No, no, she was my yes. nice boss. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yes. What do you call cheese that is not yours? Nacho mama? Cheese? Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese? That sounds good right now. 
No. Okay, no, you can't, <laughs> maybe, you can't maybe do it. All right. What does an ocean do when he sees his friends? He waves. <laughs> oh, he's working! Yes! So I think we know who won huh. this one. Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? I don't know. Why did the gopher wear two pairs of pants? Because, um, I don't know. In case if he gets a hole in one. Well, like he I accidentally went to the bathroom in his pants or something? Or like, okay. I can understand the reason for having two pairs of pants, but not enough to make me laugh. All right, Isabel's up. Bonus round. She's got her game face on. On your marks. Get set. Go. Tickle, tickle, tickle. How ticklish. A little more to the to the right. <laughs> A little more to the left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This isn't harm your opponent. This is... <laughs> Get them to laugh. I've been trying I to. won everything. Everybody, this works every time. <laughs> She's a hair line. Is this really <laughs> happening? <laughs> yeah, I have no clue what's happening. Dad! <laughs> Sorry, I showed you my skin there. You saw what happened. It works okay, every time. Then. So if you're in a classroom setting, don't do this because you may get in trouble. But um, any other setting, it's okay. It works every time. And my hand is really like wet for some reason. I don't know why. Man, here. I just, I just want to say hi to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can, can I shake your hand? The game is over. And now back to you. Thank you, other us. And now... Get to making those smiles, but wait! I found a paper airplane coming from the sky? Wow, I gotta find more. See you in a second, bye! So we have all these rocks here and what we're gonna be doing is using these special markers. These are rock painting markers that we ordered. And so they're acrylic paint and we are going to um, put special messages on them, encouraging words, and then we're gonna go find places out in nature where people walk and do things and place them down because um, I think everybody needs a smile. What do you think, Isabel? Yes, everyone needs a smile. What are you gonna put on some of yours? Hearts, Hearts? and silly emojis. Yeah, and see silly things and fun things make people happy. And I think nowadays people really need joy in their life. So this is something little. I know we're kind of in that time period where it's like all social distancing still, getting back to that and stuff. So this is our fun way to still spread joy and still spread love. So have fun with us. So we're checking in here. How's things going on, guys? Hello. Good. Very tall. Yes. I'm actually seven, seven, seven foot one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no he's actually nine foot one. <laughs> I, I'm six foot one. Actually, six foot two. Uh, so. What do you got going on there, Isabel? I have John. Oh, that's awesome. Right? Good. Don't know if you can even tell what this is, but it's a star. That is awesome. Right now I'm trying to make a beach, but I 
Oh, That's yeah. awesome too, John. <laughs> oh, it's just got a beach going on. I like the beach. The sun isn't really going how I you want know, it. We don't have a beach near where we are, so. Yeah. Well, we have. I would say a beach would make anybody happy. Okay, continue on. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back. We repainted all these rocks, and we actually have a few more to paint, but we're going to sign out for now, and then we're going to touch base with you guys tomorrow. And Isabel's hopefully not eating paint over there. I'm not painting. I'm playing with a little very set where I'm eating. She lost the attention span. <laughs> it's okay. That's why we had to finish more here in a little bit. We'll be with you here tomorrow. You'll see us. We'll be out and about on location, dropping off smiles. So see you tomorrow. Hey everyone, day two. We are getting ready to head out to some undisclosed places to lay some smiles, some rocks. So stick with us and let's, let's go. go. Okay guys, it's a hot day, but we are here secretly laying down our rocks. It's fun times. Just imagine someone's gonna find it and smile. It's our mission. All right, we are headed into our home after a long day. We went many places, shared lots of rocks, which equals lots of smiles. Yes. I would say, I don't know how many places we went, but we laid down probably over 50 rocks. Yes. So um, I would say mission accomplished, wouldn't you? Yes, and whatever you do, you just go ahead and have fun and do it. And it may seem small, but it's okay because you don't know who's gonna grab that. You don't know who's gonna see that. You don't know what's going on in their life. And uh, maybe you got it all together, maybe you feel good but it's okay, you know, we all need help. And so do it, even if it's something little as just a rock or, or just going out and just, uh, you know, smiling at someone or saying hi to them or making, you know, uh, a call and talking to them and just taking your time with them. I promise when you do it, it's worth it. So don't forget, smiles are free, so share